What do you notice about advisors or do you notice anything co- common uh, between advisors that do well in the kind of the employee model versus the, the independent model? Um, anything that, you know, tilts one way or another, things that are common and universal, uh, you know, give us a bit of your perspective as we're talking to advisors who maybe aren't familiar with the independent side, but, um, you know, give us a sense of what you've seen. Yeah, so um, I may disagree with maybe you on this, but I don't know that everybody is suited for independence. Um, the advisor that I think does well in independence is really that advisor that thinks of themselves as the CEO of their business. Um, they're involved in decision-making um, not only just from what investments they're picking, but on how they're servicing their clients, how they're running the meetings, how often they're meeting, um, you know, the great thing about independence but can also be overwhelming for some people is that really is an open platform. So you need to be prepared to make all decisions on your own. Um, and then this one is kind of small and petty, but this is huge. Uh, if you're going to be in the independent world, you need to be able to read your emails. You need to be willing to read stuff. You're going to get a lot of information that you're only going to get once. Um, and, and you need to be able to absorb that information and kind of along those same lines, you need to be ready and willing to learn new technology. Um, again, you're going to be able to pick almost anything that you're using other than whatever custodian you choose. But as far as your CRM systems, um, your marketing systems, anything like that, you get to pick it, but you're also going to have to learn it. Yeah. Those, I think those are great points. Any more thoughts on that? We didn't really go into what's appropriate for a wirehouse model, but, um, you know, when I when I think about that, it's a great place for training. You know, that's I think almost all of us that are in the independent world came from a wirehouse at one point. It's also really good if you don't if you're willing to be told what to do on a day to day basis and just want your paycheck. So if you're pretty comfortable on your your growth trajectory and you're okay with a firm telling you exactly um, what can and can't go in portfolios and how often you have to talk to your clients, um, you know. The, the wirehouse is probably a good home for you. If an advisor that's listening is maybe either considering uh, independent business models or at least wants to learn more about them, um, you know what what factors would you look at if you were counseling someone you know that you really need to decide on how much um, support and involvement you want from whatever firms you affiliate with. Um, and I do use the word affiliate on purpose because you really are going into the independence world, so you're not going to be um, hired by anybody, you're essentially hiring other firms to either custodian your assets or provide a supervision structure um, because, unfortunately, even in the independent world, the compliance requirements don't go away. Um, they just change a little bit um, in relation to the interpretation of the rules. Um, so I'd really look at, first of all, what are you looking for? Do you want complete independence? Do you want to have very little um, support and structure from the firm you affiliate with, or do you want more? Um, and then on the other side of that, too, there's also kind of the social aspect. So a lot of us do want that network where you can um, share ideas and work with other advisors, um, perhaps in some cases team up together if you've got somebody that's an expert on something else. So looking at those different, um, you know, making your list of wants, and then going to the independent firms and deciding, okay, who's got the best platform for me to put my plan into place? And I think if you've answered those couple of questions of what you want, as you start meeting with especially the big players, you'll see pretty quickly where you would fit in best. 